Asalaamu Alaikum everyone, Ramadan Mubarak, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I just want to kind of share some thoughts um, on, on some things that I was reflecting on for the last few days. Um, you know, I was uh, we're talking with my kids and uh, we're just kind of going through some old videos of me in, in Muhsin. And one of my sons had said to me, you know, Baba, you know, why do you sound so mad? <laughs> you know, it was almost like, you know, they were looking at like my demeanor. And um, it was interesting. It, it clicked something inside of me. I was like, you know, that's so weird. Like, why was I so mad? You know, I think even internally within the Muslim family, they joke around about it. Like, I, I used to get really angry during some of those speeches. And um, the more I think back and I realize I was mad. And I think there was a lot of that built up within me at that time. And I never, I didn't really quite understand why that was. And I didn't know how it was coming out so obviously <laughs> that even little kids could realize that, uh, that I was clearly angry. Um, and I, I, I think I understood something at that point that it, there was a lot built up inside me because of the challenges of having special needs. And I know that being part of Muhsin has helped that, Alhamdulillah. You know, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I feel like being part of this organization really has calmed me down. And I know everyone's gonna say, well, you know, you're on the board, you have special needs, you're always talking about Muhsin, but I'm not on, I'm not working for Muhsin or volunteering for Muhsin because, you know, there's some self-interest. I mean, you guys know me, people that do know me know that I don't, I, I try to keep it as real as possible. And and the and the thing, the reality is that, you know, it's been therapeutic for me to see an organization that is standing up for me. You know, I think at that time in my life, I felt like really didn't have that many options. And I, I, I consider myself to be one of the more blessed people within our community, considering everything Alhamdulillah Allah has given me. And But there, I've seen many more other families that have, so much less and then you see the tone within the community and you see people are losing faith they're losing hope and um one thing that must increase beyond if you look beyond the programs if you look beyond you know the umrah trips if you look beyond the sunday schools it's more than that because i, I if you're someone who, who follows Muslim or is touched by special needs or is, is part of the organization i really would love to hear your thoughts you know to me i feel like it created hope and when you have hope those, those those degrees of anger and frustration start to come down. You know, I know on a personal level that Mohsin has helped me and my family at times of, uh, of, of immense need. And that's between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They know what they've done for me and for my family and may Allah I'll give them the full reward. Everybody part of that organization that's been helping, that helped us. And and the, the, the thing is that knowing that there is hope and knowing that there is an organization that's constantly working for you when you have special needs is really, really humbling. And um, I, I'm just letting everybody know, like, there was a degree of anger in me, and I'm seeing it also within other people that have special needs that are in different forums, different groups. You know, people say things that are uh, scary, and people say things that might uh, are uneasy to hear at times when they get to a level of depression. And then you understand that I understood that I was there at once, at one point, that even myself, I, those thoughts did creep into my mind, you know, and Alhamdulillah. Uh, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no longer do those thoughts happen. But the the thing is that that pain, that frustration of kind of feeling alone, you know, kind of feeling no one really is going to understand and, and no one's going to be there for you, you know, when when you need help. You know, having a, an organization like Mohsin has changed that for me. And so it's funny, it started from a comment, right? It started from like, why are you so mad? <laughs> and um, And it wasn't at them. <laughs> It was that it was that some it was just me giving a, a talk in in a community and I didn't realize, you know, uh, where my tone was going and I, I was I was yelling and screaming and I'm like that that didn't feel like who I who I am. I felt like you know I like to I like to joke and I like to have fun. But then when I started talking about real life things and started opening up a little bit in the community, I realized that very early on I was extremely angry and frustrated. And and Muslim, it was more to me than a program. You know, a Muslim certification, which is huge. It was, it was, it was therapy. It was, it was, it was something that they they made me feel like, alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa taala, that don't worry, this is something that we're going to continue to work towards. And uh, even though people may not be quite ready for for this message, people might not quite be ready to understand what Muslim is all about. They will, inshallah, and we're not going to give up on that effort. So I'm asking everyone humbly, if you're still listening, and I apologize for the long message. Um, please. Uh, please uh, support this organization through your du'as, through your, through volunteering, uh, through through your campaigns. Please create a, a, a campaign for Muslim on Facebook or anything, any any of your social media platform. Share this 
whatever you can do to to raise funds you know and to do what we can to continue to do programs i mean if you think about just a few of the programs how many people alhamdulillah we were able to take to umrah how many people we were able to uh you know help learn their deen through asl programs all these things that that hope was created again you know subhanallah within the special community when largely the sentiment is who's even thinking about us who's even thinking about us you know and uh, if it's not our immediate family uh it, it sometimes it feels like it's no one and alhamdulillah for Muslim, alhamdulillah for everything allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is the greatest of planners may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for for all of us but please we ask for your support we ask for, uh for your continued support and love, Mohsen has. Uh, I know how many people love Mohsen. Uh, we needed to continue though, and but I want people. I wanted people to know that it was beyond programs. It it really did help me in in many ways, and I believe it could help so many others. And may Allah want to guide us to whatever is true, and uh, at everyone's time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah.